Hey fellow tennis nerds, if you've been following the channel, you know I'm a fan of vintage rackets, old school rackets, especially older head rackets mainly, but I also like the ProStaff 85 and a bunch of different rackets from other brands. I've recently reviewed the Fisher Vacuum Pro 90 and there are a lot of good old school rackets out there with a you know, lower flex rating usually and a, and a really nice feel, but not generally the biggest sweet spot. So what's happened with modern frames is that the sweet spot has been enlarged and you get a little bit more power for free. Generally, they're, they're you know, created to make it easier to play tennis, while these old school frames, if you're an enthusiast, you're a tennis nerd, a racket nerd, whatever you want to call it, uh, you're going to like these old school frames. They're not as forgiving generally, but when you hit the ball well, it does feel great. So that's why I really like these old rackets and I play with both modern rackets and older rackets. Sometimes I feel like playing with a very modern frame with a high stiffness or a bigger sweet spot, whatever. And sometimes I just feel like taking one of these old schools, old school frames out. Today I wanted to uh, put the spotlight on two radical rackets. The radical line of, of head rackets, very famous line, uh, you know, made popular by Andre Agassi back in the day. And uh, he was using, endorsing, uh, this one, the Bumblebee, the Radical Oversize. Agassi always used an oversized frame coming from the Prince Graphite Oversize. He also used the Donay Pro 1 Oversize and this Head Radical Tour Oversize. So in the video I've been playing with this frame, I've strung it up with Miami Tour Hex, a poly I really like, pretty nice soft feel, still good control for what it is. And uh, yeah, it's a great frame. I really enjoy it. The issue with this frame, you know how quality control is. I've talked about that in previous videos. This has a swing weight with the string and the string is not a really heavy string in my opinion. It has a swing weight of 363 with strings. That's a very, very hefty swing weight. There's no weight added to this frame. This is a tank of a tennis racket. How do you play when you're playing with a tank? You need to reduce your swing speed. Um, this one has a huge sweet spot, obviously the head size is nice and, uh, and pretty big. So you need to kind of reduce your swing speed, make sure you, you uh, let the racket do more of the work. You can't swing as fast because uh, it's, it's going to be difficult partly because the swing weight is so high. So what I, I do when I play with these rackets is I generally slow down a little bit, try to make the racket do the talking and use that more to generate pace than my swing and then it plays beautifully. At times uh, when I feel like I need to play kind of a more finesse shot, where I need to use more of my wrist, maybe more of my arm, this one can be a bit too much to swing, a bit too much to flick around. It's not that type of racket. I strung it pretty low as well, around uh, 51 pounds, and that's not uh, maybe, I mean, the recommended tension, if you look at the, the recommended tension here, it's 29 kilos or um, 64 pounds plus minus four pounds. That's a pretty high tension. Why so high? Well, back then they didn't have polyester strings. So uh, if you're using a multifilament, they really recommend you uh, or a synthetic gut or a gut to string high because you're not going to get that same control otherwise. But with a polyester string, you can go down quite low. I went 51 pounds or 23 kilos can still control the ball pretty well and get a bit of extra snap back and spin thanks to the polyester string. Uh, so this is a, a fantastic racket. I really enjoy it. It's uh, definitely not easy to use always because that it's so hefty to swing, but it's a legend for a good reason because the feeling on impact is very soft, very nice on the arm. And when you hit the ball and you time it correctly, you get a really, uh, you know, a, you know, a really heavy shot. And you can do a lot with just a little bit of a, of a shorter swing. You don't have to hit so fast, so hard, and the racket can do more of the work. So yeah, I've enjoyed it a lot. Uh, play with it today at the time of the recording and, and I was really, really happy with it. Sometimes you take these out and you're like not connecting with them at all. And sometimes you feel like it's, yeah, this is fantastic. I understand, Andre, I can see why other players think this is a legend. It, it truly is, it's a very nice frame. Uh, not easy to swing, not super easy to generate topspin, although the pattern is pretty pretty good. I like the 18-19 pattern on the 107 square inch. I think it's actually 104 square inch because of the head measurement issue they had back then. A very, very nice feeling uh, and uh, you can definitely get some good power thanks to the high swing weight. Uh, modern frames, they're more on the stiffness scale, while older frames, they're more on the swing weight. So they require more to swing 
but you have more kind of inherent control and the power comes from the weight of the frame. Uh, newer frames, a lot of power comes from the stiffness of the frame, uh, so more energy return to the ball. Uh, different way, I mean, the newer frames are more famous to, for creating tennis elbow. I don't feel anything while playing with this frame, even with a full bit of poly. Uh, if I take a racket that's a kind of more modern racket, um, Instinct MP, Pure Drive, whatever, I'm gonna feel it a bit more because I do have a little bit of a sensitive arm at times, especially I haven't let it heal maybe 100%, so it's, uh, it's there for sure. But very nice frame and uh, if you have one lying around or if you find one on a thrift store or used, you know, check it out, give it a try. It's a very nice stick to play with. It's not something I'll play with every day, but I did enjoy this play test. Talking about radicals, um, I also have this one. It's the Zebra the Radical Tour, but it's a mid-plus version. And that this was this came after the so-called Bumblebees. You have the Bumblebee Radical, you have the Zebra Radical, and you have the Candy Cane Radical, which was the kind of third twin tube. You know, the twin tube construction is, is when there's like, uh, so the racket looks like it's in two uh, because there's a line going through the racket mold. That's the twin tube construction that a lot of racket nerds, tennis nerds, what do you want to call it like and uh, I really enjoy it a lot it's a it's a very nice feeling with these PT57 mold this one uh, so similar to the famous PT57A low flex below 60 uh, 95 square inch head size when measured correctly and uh, 1820 pattern so I found this one more demanding to use it's also high swing weight this is the most demanding of the Radical Tours, the mid plus versions. The Candy Cane has a lower swing weight, the Bumblebee has a little bit higher swing weight and this one has a very beefy swing weight. Mine came in at almost 350 and uh, or at the, mine came in at 350 with Lux Lanola Power full bed and it's a lot to swing and you don't get that extra sweet spot that I get with the oversize. So I felt I had to struggle more with the 95 square inch head and the 1820 pattern. I couldn't more eff I couldn't as effortlessly generate pace and spin as I did with the oversize. It's all natural, it's all science and uh, I did struggle more with this one. I know plenty of players that love this frame, they think it's fantastic. Many ways it is, it plays really soft, nice on the arm, good buttery feel, great control but you need to generate a lot of pace yourself and handling the small head size coupled with the high swing weight is not easy and uh, definitely I, something I struggled with although I play with these types of frames a lot over the years. But yeah, these two radicals, they're two legends. The Radical Line, a legendary line, just released their new all orange lineup a few, you know, maybe half a year ago. Uh, those frames are also nice. I both like, I like the MP and I like the Pro. I haven't tried the other versions in the lineup. Uh, you, you have my review of the Pro and the MP on this channel, so check that one out. Um, I have a few friends that have made the switch. Uh, Richie made the switch to the MP. Um, Boss made the switch to the Pro. There are a lot of fans of the new Radical lineup. Bit more forgiveness, bit more free power, still good control, still nice feel. A little bit more of a kind of versatile frame, more suited to the modern game than these. You can swing them faster, you get a little bit more for free. Uh, the stiffness is a bit higher though, so you need to, to make sure you're, you're stringing maybe a bit lower or with the hybrid setup uh, and you're gonna get be fine with your arm. Uh, but the new Radicals are also good. The Radical lineup has such a, a, a legendary heritage uh, all the way throughout from TI Radical. I have a, there are a lot of fans of the Liquid Metal Radical. I was a huge fan of the Liquid Metal Radical Tour. There's a review on this channel as well of that. I, I'm playing with that in many of my older videos. And I think the, the Liquid Metal Radical maybe is the most popular of those those ones. I didn't like the radicals as much with the graphene added to it. They made them stiffer, a bit harsh on the arm. But now they've moved back with the spiral fibers in the latest generation of radicals. I think they've, they've gone back to what made the radicals good. They need to be a bit, you know, more flexible, need to have a bit more feel. They're supposed to be the player's racket. If you talk to head, it's about giving a lot of players uh, a good choice that can do most things really well doesn't have maybe any standout weapons like a serve or a just you know fantastic power or touch but it's kind of that balanced racket in the middle of everything and that's what the radical is and that's why it's so popular and it deserves to be popular but I think if you skip the graphene line 
move over to the new one or the older radicals could go IG line fantastic rackets IG radicals very very good Schwartzmann uses one of those in extended form or you could go um, microgel also famous radical um, very very low flex not that easy to generate, generate power but also great flex point excellent if you've been reading tennis nerd you know that Novak used to use a radical uh, mold racket uh, and is still using kind of a radical mold today with his pro stock frame if you want to know more about Novak's actual racket you check out my videos about his rackets on this channel uh, well that's a little bit of a talk about radicals and the old school frames I hope you found it useful I hope you enjoy this type of content if you have any any other ideas of content you'd like to see please comment below I read the comments I don't always have time to reply to everything but I do my best to keep my eyes on it and I know you have a lot of questions if you want to ask questions and make sure you get an answer please join patreon because I'm I'm putting more time and effort into patreon of course they, you're, you're paying a small fee for a subscription but I'm also putting a lot of energy into the content I create for patrons and making sure they get good replies to their questions uh, so if you want to support Tennis Nerd and make sure you get, you know, good information and uh, replies to your questions, please join Patreon, patreon.com slash Tennis Nerd. If you need help finding a racket and a string, you want to get like a, an idea of four or five different rackets uh, you should uh, look at consider based on your style. You can send me a video, you can fill in a form. Please check out the Tennis Nerd consultation on TennisNerd.net. Uh, also, please subscribe, turn on notifications so you know when I upload more stuff that's free and easy if you want to buy a racket or a string i also have uh, links to uh, my affiliates tennis warehouse tennis warehouse europe and tennis only in the description below so check that out every purchase through my links sends a small commission to tennis nerd uh, and will help me create more content at no cost to you whatsoever thanks a lot everyone have a nice day and don't forget to play some tennis